Google has been working on new technology using AI that can understand information across a wide range of formats, texts, images, other kinds of search results. How will this make our Google searches different? Thanks, Emily. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, today, we at our Search On event, uh, we announced a, uh, uh, the, the, how we're using MUM, which is one of these milestones in AI, uh, to completely reimagine and reinvent search to make it even more helpful and intuitive to use. Uh, so, for example, um, uh, we, we're going to use MUM to uh, to improve Lens, Google Lens, which already allows you to search by image. Uh, but now we'll let it search in this multimodal fashion where you can provide an image and some text that refers to that image, uh, such as socks with the pattern that's in the image, for example. Um, so it's a new way to search. Uh, we're also going to be using MUM's uh, um, uh, sort of deep advanced topic understanding uh, to help you get a bird's eye view of topics uh, and, and then find you new ways to explore the topic space. Uh, and finally, we're going to use MUM uh, to understand the topics in videos so that we can surface uh, related topics uh, that you might uh, want to explore. So, so MUM is really helping us uh, both change the way you search and to explore the space uh, even more effectively using its sort of understanding of, uh, of language and, and the world at large. You're also working to add more context to search results, in part in an effort to combat misinformation. We saw YouTube take a big step towards this today, taking down anti-vax content, not, not necessarily content just tied to COVID. I'm curious what else you think needs to be done to combat misinformation, given that a lot of this information can come up in search results. Actually, um, we've uh, spent many years now uh, surfacing high quality content uh, in, in these areas. And I think we've had a lot of success in doing that. This has been our mission from day one uh, uh, is to, to, to surface relevant results from reliable high quality sources. And we've really doubled down on that idea over the last uh, five years or so. And I think we're doing a really good job. But what we, we've started a new effort this year and with some improvements we announced today where the idea is that you want to give not just surface high quality results, but you want to give users more tools to make their own decisions about what to trust or not and give them that, that additional context. And so uh, uh, earlier this year, we launched this feature called About This Result, where you can get more information or descriptions of the, the result and, and, and so forth. Today, we, uh, we announced that we will soon be expanding that substantially uh, by providing information uh, about what other sites think about uh, uh, this site, uh, related okay. information and so forth. Meantime, Google, it, of course, is being sued by the Justice Department in various states for allegedly engaging in anti-competitive practices to extend its monopoly in search. I'm curious how this regulatory scrutiny is changing how you do your job and in evolving search for the future. I mean, it, it, my own work in, in this area is to make, continue to make search as helpful as possible uh, for our users. Uh, and that mission does not change here. In fact, uh, it's uh, given that users have even more ways of finding information today from a variety of different uh, sources and, 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 and so forth. Uh, that mission is ever more important today, uh, and there's no change in that. Meantime, it's no secret that algorithms can reinforce biases that we as humans already have, and there's concern that AI could actually amplify some of that bias. Some of Google's own researchers have criticized AI for this very reason. I'm curious what you're doing to make sure that AI is fair and ethical in its implementation? That's a, that's a great question, uh, Emily. Um, our big answer to this, this is something we're very concerned about, of course, uh, and our big answer to this has been something we've been doing for a long time, which is we have a rigorous uh, testing and evaluation process before we launch any new feature 
any new AI system or any new system at all for that matter. So it's not just AI focused, but of course every AI system also goes through the same rigorous testing and evaluation where we look at samples of queries from the broad query stream and from particularly sensitive slices to make sure that there are no concerning patterns, things like the bias concerns, things like misinformation, all of these things are things that we, we look for in this. And only when we have a lot of confidence that we see no such concerning patterns do we launch this. Uh, and that's a strategy that has worked very well for us over, I would uh, submit it, uh, over the last 20 years, but certainly over the last five, 10 years where we've really amped it up. Um, and right. we'll continue to do this uh, in the future.